Jay Lethal versus Darby Allen. Had a very fun match. Uh, Jay did the figure four under the barricade as a callback to the figure four under the door last time we saw these two get physical with each other. Yeah, I saw that. I uh, I don't want to say I didn't like it, but it was much better when he was literally pinned down by a door. Sure. And then being put in the figure four. Just just under the barricade, it was not as... Uh... Well, d- d- in a vacuum, it would have been nothing at all. But as a callback to what happened, a reminder to Darby well, sure. Allen. Yeah, yeah. He's playing mind games with him. Remember that time I pinned you into the door, you little prick? That's what he's doing here. So uh, speaking of uh, size, Sotnam saying is big. And uh, Darby tried to dive once, but Sotnam blocked his path. And so Darby thought better of it. Later in the match, Darby was going for a dive and Sotnam blocked his path again. So Darby says, screw it. I'm going to dive through this giant. It didn't work. I laughed so <laughs> hard. Because, I mean, it wouldn't have, it would have been probably funny one way or the other. But it was particularly funny because of the way that Darby does the cannonball, which is just he runs as fast as a human can run, and then he cannonballs, and he usually knocks people like over the barricade in the first row or whatever. They just go flying. And, man, he ran as fast as he could, and he cannonballed through those ropes, and fucking Satnam Singh didn't move a muscle. I'm not sure he knew Darby had hit him. He didn't budge. It was like, you know, they always go, it's like hitting a brick wall. And you're like, yeah, it's a funny saying, but it ain't like if you've ever hit a brick wall, which I haven't, but I imagine it would hurt. No, this was absolutely, positively, without question, like hitting a brick wall. He fucking hit that brick wall and he bounced off and he was dead. So uh, this got Sutton Singh ejected. He didn't even do anything. He, 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 what a horrible call by the referee. I mean, he was in the way. Darby was trying to do a move to, to Jay, him, to Jay Lethal, and uh, the, and Sotnam got in the way first. Uh. It's it's a gray area, a gray area. I'll You're say allowed that. to stand there. He was, in fact, just standing there. He was yeah. on the floor, standing there. Yeah. So, uh, regardless, they're both ejected, but that turns out to be their plan anyway, because as they're distracting the ref by forcing him to eject them, a sting imposter shows up. Jabs Darby's taped ribs with a baseball bat, throws him in the ring, and a lethal hits the lethal injection and wins. And except for that one dive spot under the giant, this was every raw match you ever saw. Yeah, this wasn't really, uh, and two very good workers. I mean, it just was kind of there. And then this this masked Sting bloke. I mean, here's the thing. We've seen this a million times. Somebody dressed as Sting. A million times. And, like, nobody believed this was Sting. Not one person. Actually, you know what? There was one person. Because they actually found a, a person who went, <gasps> when when the fake Sting attacked. And I was like, are you new? Like, literally, just start watching wrestling a week ago. How the fuck do you not know this isn't Sting? So the guy gets in the ring. And he unmasked. It was Jeff Farmer. Uh, bro, it may as well have been Jeff Farmer. <laughs> it was uh, two dimes. Two dimes, yes. Cole Carter. Yeah. And I had absolutely no, I, I I had such no idea who this was when he took that fucking thing off that I thought it was going to turn out to be just some rando that uh, had been hired by Jay Lethal. Just like, sure. we'd never see the guy again. It was just some, you know, they found a local actor. But then they alert us, it is, it is Cole Carter of the... The, the factory? The factory. Yeah. Cole Carter of the factory, they say. I was like, wow. Cool. Okay. So they start beating on the guy, and then they they hit Sting's music. And you know something's going to happen because all the heels leave the ring, and they stand in the aisle, and they're they're waiting for him to come. You always know something's going to happen when they do that. And sure enough, a cowboy-hatted man Mm -hmm. hits the ring. With a guitar. And he fucking hits Darby over the head with the guitar. Slices him open. Yeah. Just laying in a pool of his own blood. Didn't give me the guitar. Or didn't give me a good, good enough, I guess. And it is revealed to be Jeff... Farmer. Jarrett. Oh. Jeff Jarrett. Jeffrey Jarrett, in 2022, late 2022, almost 2023. This is in the opening segment here on uh, Dynamite. And uh, We were watching his main roster debut, Vinny. By the 19, way, that was my first thought when I heard, when I heard about this. Three. When I first thought heard about this, we t- literally saw raw vignettes leading to his debut on another show. Yeah, actually, we did because he hasn't debuted on the retro raw yet. <laughs> Tony Khan, thirty 
years ago. Has been listening to our show and thought, God damn, Jeff Jarrett, what a great idea. And he went and got Jeff Jarrett. And if you, at any point in the last two decades or more, have ever seen a Jeff Jarrett segment, then you know exactly what happened. He hit a guy with a guitar. He cut every Jeff Jarrett promo he's been cutting since he was on Thunder. My family has been in this business for since 46. We've always left an impact. My finger, Our fingerprints are all over this business, all over AEW. Choke on that slap nuts. I felt like Lance uh, saw this and tweeted and asked if I was going to have to go for a walk again. And uh, I just went into it, tried to go into it with an open mind. And, and to be honest, I like even watching it, I, I forgot <laughs> until uh, until he was in the ring. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Jared shows up here. Uh but it was it was not it did not infuriate me. It confused me, it bewildered me, it shocked me. It's like you went to a time machine. It took a time machine, took Orlando Jordan's time machine, and went to the impact zone, or the asylum, or Thunder, or Shotgun Saturday Night, or one of these shows, and just grabbed that Jeff Jarrett and brought him out here to do the exact same thing. It was uh an anachronism, totally out of place on this show. It did not feel like an AEW segment at all. But I wasn't upset. I was confused and bewildered, but not upset. Then they played My World. (laughs) When I heard this song on Dynamite, it's a good thing. There was a segment even worse on NXT. I had no anger left in me. There was? There was. Oh, I thought so. Which one? Mandy. Oh, God. Yeah, I was angry. Yeah. I'll admit. We'll get to that. Hey, listen. You know, I... uh... I was baffled. And I have nothing against Jeff Jarrett. I, mean, I like watching Jeff wrestle. I don't have PTSD like some people over impact. Yeah. But but here's the thing. And this is why I'm gonna this is why I'm I'm not gonna freak out now. Because literally he just debuted. Now the segment, I mean, the segment was not very good at all. It got a mystery sting that we've seen. Nobody bought it. It's a guy we don't even know who the fuck it is when he unmasks. That's all a swerve to lead to another guy hitting Darby. It's like, why didn't Jeff just come out from under the fucking ring and save us this rigmarole with a fake sting? But anyway, Jeff has been hired for another job. A corporate job, or whatever you would call it. An executive job, whatever. So I think that he's going to end up like Tully. Arn. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I don't think he's going to be a centerpiece. I don't think he's going to be fighting for the world title. Uh, no. I don't think he's going to be hitting people with guitars up and down the show. If he does, then I'm going to be mad, okay? But bringing him in, you hired him anyway. He's already there. You shoot an angle with the guy. Maybe it's going to lead to Darby beating Jeff Jarrett, and then we see him once every six months or whatever. You know, fine. I think that this was just a way to introduce him as a big surprise, and uh, and do something to set up something else. Maybe Sting will beat him. Sting and Jeff Jarrett. That's a safe match. But uh, I, I don't. I assume it's going to be Sting and Darby versus Lethal and Jarrett. Sure. I don't. I don't see him being all over the show and a big major piece of of, uh, of AEW. But if he does, we're going to have to talk about this. Oh yes. Oh, I'll have a lot to say. Yes. Believe me. As 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 this segment was, it was one weird wonky segment on a show. Full of some weird wonky segments, actually. This was the weirdest dynamite in a long time. I wouldn't call it a bad show. I'm not, no, but often when it's over, I'll go, that was a great show. This is not a great show. This was not a great show. No, this is a show with some very good stuff and some bad stuff. Maybe they should get like a different producer to give the show a different kind of feel. Actually, actually yes. Maybe okay. they should put the cameras upside down. How about that? You know what they need is black and white. Or put him black and white, Jared. Make him <laughs> so- look as old and gray as pot. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, Jared, can you put Vinny upside down? There we go. <laughs> this is what's going to make this show better. We're going to review Rampage with Vinny on a different camera angle. Put it in an angle, though, Jared. Like, uh, yeah, add black and white. Now yeah. we're talking. Vinny, can you spike your hair up next week? <laughs> yeah, just put your hair up in a spike. <laughs> well, we'll have you doing the show upside down, hanging from the ceiling like a bat. The Vin yeah. Man. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. 
Don't miss out. Join us today.